Hey guys, it's really great that you're checking out this new video because today we're doing something that I personally love to have during a worship set, especially if I'm out solo, if I'm just doing acoustic or maybe I have my wife on piano. We like to have something backing up a little bit, you know, kind of in the background, setting some atmosphere. And today we're going to talk about worship pads. If you haven't heard about worship pads before, uh, worship pads are generally just a long droning tone uh, depending on what key you're in. If you're playing in the key of A, you're obviously going to use a pad in the key of A. And these can be MP3s, these can be something uh, that you set within a, a program. Uh, my method is using the MP3 method. Uh, some people use um, iTunes, some people use their laptop, some people use various different forms. I use probably the most easiest and probably the most getting away with kind of method and that is with my cell phone. But how, you may ask, do I use worship apps on my phone? Am I running through iTunes? I use this app called Worship Team Director. What it allows you to do is input your pads through iTunes, through various uh, forms of media into a playlist and with that playlist you can easily select your song and in between selecting it doesn't give you such an abrupt cut from pad to pad it nicely gently transitions into your next pad so today I'm going to show you a few examples of how to seamlessly transition your songs uh, from key to key and kind of help you get the idea of what atmosphere it builds and how it can assist you next time you're leading worship and again, I'm just using acoustic at this moment, but this does work for a full band or a few more instrumentalists that you're adding to your team. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'll be using my acoustic guitar and I'll be using uh, worship pads off of my phone.
So those are just a few ways that you can use worship pads within your set. I hope you uh, kind of grasp the idea of how it can help set an atmosphere and kind of change things a little bit before you even start playing. Kind of get people, you know, within the worship, you know, vibe and the worship atmosphere uh, with just a simple use of a pad. A couple places that you can purchase some pads from are um, worshiptutorials.com. I know they have some great pads there. They have so many different uh, types of pad, motion pads, you know, your regular pads, pads in minor keys. Uh, so go ahead and check them out. You can also visit iTunes. I know they have um, a couple, you know, resourceful, uh, I wouldn't call them bands, but uh, groups that are putting out pads, you know, for great prices. Those are probably a few places where I can think of where you can purchase some pads. Uh, you can also create your own and create mp3s of that. Uh, you can use, you know, GarageBand or MainStage, a couple different ideas on how to create your own worship pads. So I hope this has been of some help to you guys. I'd really like to hear stories if you started using pads in your worship uh, set. And uh, don't forget that pad uh, app that I downloaded. It's called Worship Team Director. It's free. It's available on the iTunes Store. Check it out. It's great. It's resourceful. And I hope you guys use it on your team. And I would love to hear some feedback on that. So thanks again for checking out today's vlog. Uh, I have a lot of stuff coming pretty soon and I'm really excited to get it out. Um, and Honest Sound has been doing some growing. Uh, I kind of got some self-exposure and people are responding and it's really great to hear you know, you guys' feedback and how much you really appreciate you know, what uh, an Honest Sound is and what an Honest Sound is doing. And I appreciate you guys for the support and uh, you know, sharing and telling your friends and tagging me in your gear posts and stuff that you have going on. I love seeing that and I love putting out content for you guys and really excited for what's in store. So for now, I'll see you guys later.